Welcome back, everyone. I'm CJ with MI Gaming back at Hogwarts and Hogwarts Legacy with our man CJ Malfoy. And we had just completed on the last part quite a few side quests in order to cut down on all of that clutter and maybe progress some of our abilities a little more. We did gain Imperio, so now our dark wizardry skills are increasing tenfold. Uh, still got a couple more to learn, but we are willing and waiting for that day to happen. Now on this part, I think we will continue with a few more side quests and then we are going to press on with the main quest. I know Sebastian has something, so we may check in with him again. And then our old goblin friend Ludgok, he has something else too. I guess report to see what Ranrock has said if he's his best friend. Oh, Sebastian, you're you're not. Yeah, you're still here. All right. Well, we're gonna do your quest later, so stay tuned. So anyway, the first thing I did see was yes, our friend Deke with his bestiality fetish wants us to purchase a breeding pen. So we're gonna knock that out real quick and then see what else is on the docket. So without further ado, we are off. Deke, buddy, I'm back. And guess what? I've got Thestrals and a breeding pen. You are going to be thrilled. I've rescued the Thestrals and bought the spellcraft for the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. Well, well, well. The swamp. never grows tired of the room's surprises. We now have the perfect place for those Thestrals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. <laughs> so it's in the swamp. Are you trying to say breeding causes swamp ass? All right. Oh yeah, it's wet and sticky here. This is a place for breeding, all right. Well, no time like the present. Let's see here. Yeah, right here in the middle. Nice. Well, they might get hungry if they're here too. So, let's see if we can uh, make sure they have snacks. Perfect. And you need a little foreplay, so how about some toys? All right. Now I'm in the mood here. Come on, Deke. You ready, buddy? <laughs> I have set the mood. I got snacks. I've got toys. And there's where the magic happens. Is this everything you've ever wanted, buddy? Oh, you're right. I don't have the stage actors. Let's see. I got a boy. A girl. And, oh, another boy. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> this is getting a little scandalous. Um. Hi, Ween, you don't need to see this. Well, well, well. Let's say menage a trois here. Okay. Deke, this is everything you wanted, buddy. You asked for this, not me. What's, what's with the hearts? Okay, so how do I do it? Do I... Oh. I sign you up? Okay, this is reserved for Thestral. And... Okay, well that works fast. Wonder which one of you is the father. All right, well, I guess we will come back and see how the Thestrals are cooking. Well, 
What's this? Someone wants to get their ass handed to him in Summoner's Court? My brother's doing well, thanks to you. And he listens to me now. Turns out having beats for feet teaches a memorable lesson. Sure, whatever, Samantha. You ready to get this Hello, ass whooping? Samantha. Woman? Are you here for Summoner's Court? I am. I'm actually rather good at it. Used to play all the time with my brother until... <sighs> Never mind. Shall we begin? Yes, let's get this yes, over. Yes, I'm ready to play. Then let's get summoning. Whoa, what's with the swirls? <laughs> oh, Samantha. What was I thinking? Exactly. Go home, sister. All right. Okay, this might be a little tricky. I think I can get it. Ooh, Samantha, you see that? That was sensational. Exactly. Yes! <laughs> this, might, this might be tough. Might be tough. <laughs> oh, who's really Ravenclaw here? I I seem to be hitting blue more than you. All right. Yes. I wouldn't be too excited. You put enough monkeys in a room, eventually some of them will have a good idea. All right. Just don't have to screw up on this one. So far corner. Akio. That's all she wrote. Oh, how am I to top that? that you, you can't. Settles it then. <laughs> a poor show against Natty in class, I thought I could beat you. Appears I overestimated myself. Well, you know, like a good shark, I just played both of you. More like you underestimated me. That was your mistake. Fair enough. But a little sporting spirit wouldn't hurt you. I happen to know who you're up against next, and she's no shy opponent. Best of luck. I'll bring it on. All right, but I wasn't here for that. That was just a happy coincidence. I am here to finally do that Ravenclaw kid who is obsessed with proving his valor, his bravery. So we're at this old herbology lab, so we will knock that out right now. So that kid could forever be in our debt. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Yes, perhaps yes, it, it does. doesn't care. Perhaps it doesn't Lumos. care if I do a little of this. Move out of the way. Incendium. Lumos. I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Sure. Incendium. Lumos. Well, well, well. Is that it? Duncan, Duncan, you scared little child. Oh, great. Somebody has a quest in here? It's you! Again? Just the person I need. We just did the little summoner's court. You couldn't get enough? Samantha, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. It's my brother William. The one I told you about after charms class. He's... he's been cursed. He ignored my warning and now he's lying in St. Mungo's looking completely pathetic. 
He simply never listens. I'm sorry, how exactly has he been cursed? Oh, you won't believe it. Truly, but his feet were turned into purple beets. You can imagine his distress. And mine. I won't even go into the attention he was getting from our garden rabbits before he admitted himself to hospital. All right, Samantha, I'm going to be straight with you. There are people that are dying out there. And you want me... Now, hear me out. Drop everything just to fix your brother's beat feet. Beats for feet. <laughs> how hilarious. I mean, how, how terrible. Horrible, truly. You and the entire school may find it funny, but the situation is dire. Well, it is an unusual situation. How did your brother end up like this? It's entirely his own fault. I told him about some research I'd done recently on our ancestor Marmaduke Dale. In particular, my discovery that Marmaduke's tomb was cursed. My brother's always making fun of my discoveries. This time, he laughed in my face. Told me I'd misinterpreted my findings. As if that were possible. And to prove his point, he went right up to the entrance of the tomb, and poof! His feet transfigured into beets. Yeah, he deserved it. If I'm honest, I'd say he had it coming. Normally I'd agree with you, but he's my brother. I know what he did showed abysmal judgment on his part. And no one deserves such a fate to last forever, especially as the result of a single brainless mistake. Now I worry that if the curse isn't reversed, it could become permanent. Can't the curse be broken? Possibly. The curse stems from a crest that was stolen from Marmaduke. If the crest were returned to its rightful place upon his sarcophagus, then I believe that William's feet may be restored. You battled trolls when they attacked Hogsmeade, escaped a dragon, and I could tell by your work and charms that you're a skilled spellcaster. Returning a crest to a sarcophagus should be almost effortless for you. So, will you help us? Oh, I swear. When I can. Jeez. I can take the crest to Marmaduke's sarcophagus for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You'll simply go into the tomb where Marmaduke was laid to rest and place the crest on top of his sarcophagus. According to my research, the tomb's been abandoned for centuries, so it should be a fairly simple task. You'll find it just east of the hamlet of Brockborough. If it's so damn easy, why Thank don't you, for you your do help. it? My family is indebted yeah, to you. whatever, I got a vent. I need to find the tomb near Brockborough and place Samantha's family crest on a sarcophagus there. Uh, hey, honey, how's it going? <laughs> These kids, am I right? Professor, I was wondering where you're from. What's your background? Oh, how nice of you to ask. Well, let's see, I grew up in London, right on the Thames. <laughs> sounds lovely. That sounds lovely. All the sights and bustle of a city. To some, yes. I used to dream of living in the country, but it wasn't until I came to Hogwarts that I felt truly at home. Mind you, it did take some time, and whilst it is my fervent hope that each student eventually feels as at home here as I do, it is not always the case. I suppose that makes sense. Well, we each bloom differently, don't we? Some of us, like Devil's Snare thrive in the shadows, whilst others crave the attention of a bouncing bulb. And we each grow and thrive according to our own plan. Oh, I was terribly nervous when I arrived at the castle. You see, as a child, I knew nothing of witches or wizards. You can imagine how astonished I was to receive my letter from Hogwarts. I spent a good deal of time alone in either the greenhouse or the library my first days here. Yeah, it does take some getting used to, especially, you know, coming from a first year, fifth year. It does take a while to adjust to being here. Precisely, and I was remarkably fortunate. In fact, a seventh year took me under her wing during those first days. She remains one of my dearest friends. Was it Sirona Ryan? It was indeed. How on earth did you know that? Sorona has been a good friend to me as well. In fact, I retrieved a box of letters from Mrs. Sprottle for her. Oh, 
<laughs> Darling Mrs. Sprottle. She was always astonished I knew as much magic as I did being muggle-born. I dare say you'll find that the friends you make here at Hogwarts will last a lifetime. Now, I'd best get to my recent delivery from the Magic Neep. Mr. Teasdale promised me quite an assortment of seats this week. Lovely to see you. Always nice to chat. And who's to say I'm not delivering those seeds myself? But we'll continue that conversation later. Have you found anything to uh, prove my bravery yet? Yes, I have, you little idiot. And guess what? It wasn't that scary. You could have done it. Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Oh, 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 oh yes. Now that I think about it, Puff Scheme Dunkeen, <laughs> I think I shall keep this. You need to overcome your cowardice. You oh. can't be serious. <gasps> this is awful. Savage. I don't know what to do now. Oh, Duncan. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, you'll learn your lesson from this. I'm doing you a favor. Disappointment like this will encourage you to become a stronger person. I don't need to be stronger. I need to be left alone. Even Zenobia Noak will make fun of me now. You've wasted my time. You're not who I thought you were. <laughs> I should never have trusted you. Yeah, whatever, Puffskeen. Oh, yes, and I level up. Oh, I feel my Slytherin blood boiling. Well, I'm actually cold-blooded, huh? so... I feel like cooling. Got ice in these veins. Alright, whose hopes and dreams can I disappoint next? Biscuit! Oh, Biscuit! Says Biscuit. Goodbye. Enjoy your time as a chicken. Alright, who wants this barrel in their face? How do they now? Right, get over here. Oh, a little dangerous here. Little dice here. Alright, that guy's down. Ooh, you actually survived that. Oh, we got more. You'll feel that You love that long. All right, why don't you join my side here? Even the odds. All right, everybody stay. Which one of you is Biscuit? Where's Biscuit? Are you Biscuit? On the first time go? Oh, Biscuit, you just didn't have a girl. All right, yes, let's get you back. Don't you okay. Fret, I shall sort something out. Hey, I found Biscuit. Garnif, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? Oh, I, yeah, we are both fine. Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. <laughs> oh, buddy. Such joy. And I will be the one to take that joy from you. She is so much safer with me. I think Biscuit will be safer with me, Garnif. 
What? No. You can't take my biscuit from me. What will I do without her? <laughs> I'm afraid I must. She has to be in my vivarium. Biscuit is clearly not safe with you, and I know how to protect her. Perhaps Ramrock was right about wizard kind. Always thinking yourself superior to others. <laughs> May I never be so unfortunate <laughs> as to cross paths with you again? Boy, you were quick to go to the dark what side. What should I do without Biscuit? Ah, <laughs> uh, go home, goblins. You guys are trouble. All right, let's check on them babies. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Here. How about a little uh, petting? There you go. I should let Deke know about the newborn Thestral. Good job. Deke, did you miss the Thestral show? Tell me about it. Hello, Deke. You'll be pleased to know that a little Thestral was born. How wonderful to have more Thestrals in our world. Such misunderstood beasts. I'm sorry that we can both see Thestrals, Deke. Deke is privileged to see such majestic beasts, but sometimes wishes Deke couldn't. Deke is to blame. What do you mean, to blame? Years ago, Deke's master ordered Deke to help him capture a phoenix, the rarest of all beasts that master had spotted high on a cliff. The phoenix was the most beautiful beast Deke had ever seen. Deke begged master to leave her be. When Deke hesitated to climb up the cliff as ordered, Deke had to punish himself. As Deke punished himself, Master grew angrier and angrier, and in his frustration, cast at the regal bird. Deke suspects the phoenix was protecting eggs when it swooped down in fear and fury. Before Deke could reach him, Master fell from the cliff. Deke stayed on that cliffside for days, punishing himself, before Tobbs found him. Oh, now Tobbs is dead. Yeah, he got what he deserved. It sounds to me as if your master got what he deserved. Deke never wanted anyone to get hurt. Not the Phoenix, not Tobbs, and not even Master. Deke often wonders what became of that Phoenix. Deke feels fortunate to be at Hogwarts now, helping you rescue beasts. Perhaps Deke can make amends for what came before. Perhaps, Deke, but this isn't therapy time here. Okay, so I was going to start on one of the main quests, but I see Poppy, yes, she needs our assistance. So I think it's time to wrap her quest up. It's not like her to forget. All right, hey, Poppy. It's been a while, right? Dragons. Take we gotta return that egg now. I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Not at all. I was just at the post office. Gran told me to expect a package, but it looks as if she forgot to send it. She didn't send me an owl this week either. Perhaps she's busy with her research. Perhaps, but I'll... What's this about the dragon news? Come on. What did you find out about the dragon you were tracking? I realized that she didn't know the poachers had her egg, so when she left Horntail Hall, she would have headed straight to her nest. I went back to the tent and tracked her flight. Yeah, that is pretty impressive. Well done. You certainly know what you're doing. I can't be certain, but I have an idea of one place she may have been heading. I thought we might go and see it for ourselves. Of course. Shall we leave now? If that's all right, I want to see how she's faring if she had a collar on. And she's likely frantic about her egg. Here we are. I do think this is where we'll find her. The terrain's typical of where the breed would nest. I suspect it's how the poachers found her to begin with. They likely camped here and logged her patterns. Perhaps nabbed her first and then her egg. Dragons are hard enough to wrangle, let alone maternal ones. You got all of that from simply standing here? You'd be surprised how easy it is to think like a poacher. Shall we see if she's home? We only need to return her egg. Sure. But might I say, Poppy, it is a breath of fresh air for someone to actually travel with me and not say, hey, I'll meet you over there. That sounds straightforward enough. We should be in and out. Then we can be finished with the poachers once and for all. Yes, let's, let's end this. Well then, let's find our dragon and return her egg. Wonderful. If she sees us flying about, she might take it as a sign of aggression or food. 
We should stay on foot. Oh, and one more thing. Let's not agitate her. Goodness knows she's been through enough already. I'm ready when you are. Yes, I know not to piss off a dragon that's already been pissed off. Uh oh. Where is she? There she is, above us. She did make it home safely. Oh, good. Ooh. It looks as if she wasn't collared like the other dragons. Yeah, I don't think we want to pick a fight with that dragon. Oh, how's it going? We got your egg here. Poor thing must be worried sick. I wonder what happened to her egg. Maybe we should just show it to her. Stop all this running around, huh? I wonder how many they brought to capture her. At least ten, usually. How charming. They keep in touch with each other. <laughs> Well, of course, it's a business. Hey, hey, hey. There she is again. Why are we whispering? From oh, shit. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I was thinking there. Fantastic. Shall we? Hmm, I wonder how good her eyesight is. I beg your pardon? I don't imagine the poachers fed her well. And from a distance, we probably look exactly like sheep to her. Hebrideans okay. love sheep. Well, how poor lucky people. for us. Pity. She must have been starved to pick off a grab horn. Or just raring for a fight. She didn't really pick it clean. Whole damn thing's here. Quiet. What was that? Well, there's no turning back. All right, I know Dragon Shell. Wait here. I'll run ahead. When it's over here. And then I'll do my Foos Roda. Follow when it's safe. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Woo. <laughs> That's a spicy meatball. Go, 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 go. Domain. She'll make sure. Keep at it. We've just got to make it to the nest. Oh, she is making it easy. She's got some bangs. Oh, I had to use a few potions there. Dova King. Oh man, where's your sense of urgency? It's a little too warm, if you ask me. I don't suppose she listened to reason. I'd normally Ooh, some ash wine berries. Go, 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 go. Get to that opening below her. I'm trying. I'm trying. You're more than welcome to do this. More, one more. Shit. All right, go, 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 go. She's leaving quickly. Brilliant. There's the nest. We're almost there. Oh, geez, this is quite the journey, Poppy. Couldn't we have just flown in? Nice. 
Now, if we just return her egg, we can hopefully make it out without too much fuss. Well, here we go. wise not to touch it. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I pissed myself a little too. That was brilliant. And did you see how clever? She left us perfectly unharmed. Mm, no. Yeah. She did try to kill us, though. That's rather generous, isn't it? She did try to kill us the entire time. Only until she saw her egg, at which point I thought she rather warmed to us. The important thing is that we survived it, and we returned her egg. Thank you for doing this with me. Wouldn't blame you one bit if you wanted to head back to the castle and never think about dragons again. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. I'm ready to start a main quest. Shall we head back? I'm ready if you are. I am. After our dragon rescue at Hauntel Hall, I half expect to be ambushed by poachers any time I'm not in the castle. Understandable. We did sabotage their fighting ring and steal a dragon egg from them. True. True. So why haven't they come after us? It's not like them to let things lie. Unless... Unless what? Unless they haven't let things lie. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't see it. We need to leave. I need to send an owl. How could I have been so blind? At Honey Dukes? What are you talking about, Poppy? Are you just gonna walk away? Ah, yeah, whatever. I guess her quest isn't over. Well, I think it's time to do a little main questing, and Sebastian, he is up, and Adam first in line. So let's do that and see what our old buddy old pal needs. Ah, so we have to wait for our buddy, huh? <laughs> there you are, buddy. I thought my owl might pique your interest. Well, of course, anything for you. I came as soon as I could. I'd been so preoccupied by all that happened with Ominous and the Catacomb, not to mention my uncle's reaction, that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view painted on the canvas that was left on it. That's incredible. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranrock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it. The way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Let's take their asses out. We need to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. Yeah, After well, you. Yeah, where are they at, buddy? Oh, down there? Oh, yeah. There they are up ahead. Oh. I'll let you lead. Coming in hot. No one enters this mine. Kill anyone who tries. Oh, watch out for the venomous. Oh, he's a crazy man. You boys just weren't ready. I won't rest. Place it. Ah, you bastard. Incendio. Accio. Much too slow. Accio. 
Dicey. Okay, I think we handled that well for a frontal assault. This is going well. We make a good team. We do at that. I mean, you do have one of the strongest students at Hogwarts. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. Do you know which one I'd choose? Why are you saying all these options? You know what we're doing. Yeah, why don't you join the cause there, buddy? <laughs> Just dead, buddy. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. All right. Leave the little puns for ominous. That's your guys' thing. Ours is just kicking ass. Are we clear? Thanks. Seems quiet. Oh, not anymore, guys. <laughs> This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. There's about to be a new accident. I don't see any goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. There you are. Oh, you bastard. I will send you. Uh, you got a good couple lucky shots on us. How many Rangrocks loyalists are in here? Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, a controlled spider. Interesting. Gotta try harder than harder than that, fellas. Hey, 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 hey. Wasn't ready. We still not see a single rune. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. We have another fight on our hands. Hell yeah. <laughs> See, there's some runes. Oh, nice. 
Okay, not so bad. Cleared the room. I don't know why Gryffindors get credit for bravery. We Slytherins are teaming with it. And we're mu a rune symbol. Like the cabin door. Ranrock's loyalists never knew to look for it. Wasn't expecting that. What do we have here? Oh, it's one of her journals. Black Death. Is that what Anne has? What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help. Sebastian, more of this I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Yes, this looks like Isadora's little workshop. If the triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas, we can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols and ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft? I bet it's this. Let's have a yep. look around. Now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Oh yeah, let's see what we got. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Oh, what are you talking about? I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? I suppose you mean the next main quest? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do. But not all goblins are... Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Ooh. All right, calm down. Let's de-escalate. You don't know what you're saying. Take a breath for a moment. Oh, I know precisely what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Come on, you pushed Ominous away, not me. Not me, bro. Come on. Look at me. Oh, won't let me use Imperium. Ah, whatever. He's going to go in his brooding mood. You know, I'm starting to think maybe it's him who doesn't deserve me and not the other way around. So, anyway, I think we will call that a fantastic part. Did a lot of good with our side quest, and then we finally did one more main quest, and it seems like it ties into the last main quest that's available to us. So we will continue that little piece on the next part. Until then, thank you for joining. I'm CJ with MI Gaming with CJ Malfoy here, and we will see you on the next part.